The summer wind has come blowing in from across the sea, as the song goes. It's brought several changes at the rock, from new faces to a new scoreboard that you may be able to find there. But a tough challenge awaits the park, boys. We've had the international England versus Wales. Now it's time for England versus Wales at club level. So you see we've got quite a few new faces here. Carl Trainer coming into the front row. Santoni into the second row. Dave Lewis, the new scrum half partner with Greg Land, of course, top point scorer last season. Jeremy Rowe is back for his first game of the new season after a sustained period out. And if most of you might be interested to see those of you in that one knowledge, you'll see Craig Holland there, the top scorer last season for Chinna. He is in this Russell Park squad this season. Lewis finds his partner Lount. Comes into Nick Level there, driving into the defence there of RGC. Craig Land again, fast moving there, but an interception from number 23. That's Reese Tudor, who only came in at the last minute. Goodness me, what an impact he's had there. After only two minutes, the late replacement for RGC, Reese Tudor. Here they come again, Ross and Pard have suddenly woken up now after seven minutes or so. And who else is going to go in there and find the gap but Craig Holland getting himself on the scoreboard here. What a reception for their last year's top scorer, actually. And here they go now again. The move is starting to fill in some gaps here. Joe Monroe trying to find Henry Robinson who finds his gap. And they're over for the lead. Sharply made move there by Ross and Park all the way from the line out. And Henry Robinson stepping inside to find the gap. And what a break that is. Dan Lavenshire finishing it off there. And here comes over space out wide. They've got three or four men, but Greg Land is going to drive all the way through. Is he going to get down? He is. What a great try there. Super movement from the line out. They took it quick and they made it fast. Craig Holland with the pace there. And breaking through the centres. Dan Lavenshire, of course, the forward supporting. And finished there by Greg Land. And he goes all the way back to Sam Twoney. Dave Lewis throwing into Monroe. Nice little deep in there from Jack Barnard. He skipped through a couple of tries. He might go all the way here. Oh, but he's found a super pass. And what a finish that is. Goodness me, that is such a fast pace. Something we haven't really seen here in a long time. And it's a penalty back to seven. What's that for, sir? Sorry. Killing the ball on the try line. Seven ball off you go. Yeah. And that's Simbin as well. I don't know if you saw that. There's a Simbin there for Jack Barnard. That is there. You'll see walking away. Oh, you see driving forward that scrum. You can see the impact of the Simbin already. And they're holding over it. And it is a try. Immediately he's given a penalty try there. Ball comes in, Owen Hughes goes short to Gregor Galanders in the mall. set up Joe Monroe in there. Owen Hughes getting in at the back there as well. Are they going to drive themselves over there? That is the question. They're turning them all around. They manage to keep going here. But the ball goes down and they've got the points. Just a matter of time in those scenarios when you're playing at Rosslyn Park. And they do some of the Brazilian rugby here. Nick Lovell picking it up now, fast hands here, David Lewis finding Loud, finding Monroe, he's going to try and run round, oh he's found some space here, he's got Marfa, he's going to run inside, he's going to chip it over the top, is he going to get to that second ball, Monroe's got it, is he going to get there, he's so close to the line, and he's done it, well, try the season already, who knows, but one thing's for sure, these guys started working in June and there's really showing off here, six tries before half time, but here come RGC, Sam Rogers there. An interception from Benji Marfo. And this must be another try for Rosslyn Park. That must be the seventh try of the day. And that takes us to 43-14 before half time. Comes out from Con from Colin. Big sprint here though from a uh, try. Oh, there you go. Matt Buchanan finding the gap from the kick from Billy McBride. Bouncing perfectly to him just before the post. First try scorer, Reese Tudor. And that interception after two minutes. The struggles to get into the game a little bit, you might argue. There's a break there from uh, Ifian Roberts. And he finds his scrum half, Oscar Lennon. And that's two tries in quick succession for the visitors. And suddenly that gap is not so big anymore. Russell Park 45, RGC 26. Lennon. Penalty. To be taken quickly by RGC. They're going to move forward here. He's got a runner on the far side there, just in front of him. And there is some space here for number 14, which is uh, Samuel Jones. And it's going to Bo Williams. Bo Williams to get the first try at the half after a couple of minutes. Deja vu from the first half. RGC scoring early. They spin them round. 
The ball goes loose and it's out and there goes Peach getting round everybody. Getting over the line. The whole, the split of the pack if you like. Eluding the Russell Park defence. Allowing Jack Peach to go through and that's our first score in about 20 minutes. Third move from Russell Park in about five minutes and they win it again. They're driving forward. Here it goes. Still moving forward. And it's over. Breathing space once again for Russell Park. The man getting the congratulations is Carl Gibson. He's the man that emerges with the ball. That's for Odor Jones. He's moved up fast here. And it's Craig Holland. Well, welcome back to the match, Craig. Great fast move there across the ring. They took up the pace in a flash there. The Rossin Park forwards at the mall. And that gave the ignition to the Rossin Park back line to move the ball with pace and find Craig Holland running from deep to side through. Park just keeping RGC at bay. I can see Jordan Jones standing there. He goes all the way back to McBride into the centres. Quick fast hands and over on that far side. It's a sixth try for RGC. So try and put the ball in, but the scrum collapses. It's a penalty to RGC. They're going to take it quickly. Comes out here with Josh Jordan Jones, who tries to drive through. Indian Roberts trying to go through. Oh, there's a deep run there from Zan Williams. And he'll go over. And that's probably going to be the last move of the game, you would argue. And that's seven points. Of course, the conversion kick would take it to a five-point gate, which is probably what would be deserved for this RGC side. And that's what they get as the full-time whistle blows here at The Rock. In the sunshine of south-west London, a scintillating encounter between England and Wales at international level. And it is England that take it at club level.